You said that you're a trans woman. A trans female, yes, ma'am, sir. Do you have a penis? That's horrible. Yeah. You're the one. You're the one that brought that into the discussion. I you're the one that never that said anything about genitalia. Oh, it is has that, everything to okay. do with genitalia. I don't know Audio. what my rights are Audio. right Audio. now. Are I'm a health professional, other, doctor. Please treat me as such. Next Audio. question, please. Senator McKee, that you asked my friend if she had a penis, and I would just like to tell you that even if you have a penis, it doesn't mean that you have honor or that you're a man. Well. A little pushback there, but Arkansas State Senator Matt McKee, as you guys saw there, uh, was asking pharmacist Gwendolyn Herzig about her uh, as she testified about this issue in this Senate Bill 199, the one that would target doctors for malpractice for providing gender affirming care uh, to minors. I guess he was just curious. He wanted to know some things. And by the way, what does, uh, I guess, whatever answer he was expecting, gonna get to him in conclusion that therefore, they should continue to put forward bills that oppress people and, and with the ideas of doing whatever it is that they want with their bodies. Who cares as long as it's something salacious and as long as I insult folks that I hate and dehumanize so we can continue to go for the same routine of they're not really human, who cares what you do to them. There's more, here's a little bit of that about that bill. Uh, the ban prohibits doctors from providing hormone therapy or puberty blockers to anyone under 18 or referring them to other doctors who can provide that care. No transgender surgery is performed on minors in Arkansas, though. You would know that from the way that they're talking about this whole thing, no? Arkansas is already uh, the first state that has enacted this kind of ban on gender transition treatment for minors. That was a couple of years ago, though, when they did that. So now they're trying to reinstate it after it got challenged and pushed back a little bit more. Um, uh, Senator Gary Stubblefield, who's a co-sponsor of the bill, uh, blamed. <laughs> He blamed TikTok and you know those uh, those those uh, Chinese folks are coming to get us, but they only target certain individuals, n n no conservative folks. Those are the ones uh, who are somehow oblivious to this whole thing. Let's watch his theory. Listen, I talked to a ten-year-old girl back in the fall, and you know where she got her idea to have one of these surgeries off of TikTok, because the Chinese were showing this little girl on TikTok who said, "This has changed my life." Now, by the way, Shane, I'm gonna let you in really fast because there was one aspect, I read through these articles about all the things that were happening, other testimonies that went down. One specifically from a doctor, Stephen B. Levine, uh, he's a psychiatrist. And he was actually arguing in favor of some of these bans. And he did say there's been a rare occasion where he does say, hey, a transgender youth uh, is uh, does qualify in his mind for the type of person that needs this kind of care. So he's somewhere in the middle, but I think more leaning towards where these Republicans are talking. And he asserted that really fast. This isn't a graphic, I found this. He asserted that in the field of transgender care in the US, advocacy has replaced the scientific basis for medical care. He's upset about all the advocates out there. He cited a recent study showing that an estimated 20 to 25% of transgender individuals out of 41 studied detransitioned for reasons psychological, or physical health concerns. I've heard these types of things before, Sharon. And you know what? I, I'm not studying these things. I'll take uh, Stephen Levine's word for it. If this is part of the problem, maybe this should be part of what we're discussing without it being across the board thing where it's, hey, uh, the, you you folks are groomers, you're coming for our children. Look at this this agenda and the third agenda and the fourth agenda behind you trying to murder our children, which then heightens these aggressions and has people really think, hey, this division here is these folks trying to kill folks rather than allow children to be who they are. I'm willing to accept that there's folks across the board that maybe weren't sure of who they were or as they were developing, didn't fully know. But again, in Arkansas, there's no surgeries going for any towards any of these minors, but they wouldn't want you to really hear that part. No, and I bet you in Arkansas, there's plenty of Bible courses that you can send these quote unquote confused youth to, to kind of get them back on course. I bet you there's plenty of Bible courses and camps that you can go tuck them away until they get right with God. It's actually insanity. And you notice how it's always people that's not their experience. It's not your experience. And yet you you said something earlier in the show about if you just listen, they don't wanna listen, except listen to pounce and listen to twist and listen to be defensive and then spew the same thing as if they didn't hear anything you said. 
<laughs> of course. Well, that's not the whole point is to then manipulate the thought process and then deliver that final uh, blow there. So, uh, you know, I guess maybe these as these discussions go on. Again, I'm gonna say it for the second time. If there's some level of folks that regret uh, their decisions or have gone through these things, which I think at the first levels of it with many minors, it can be reversed. It's blockers, not uh, surgery. Um, then look into that. Why, why isn't there an honest discussion about what you want to do to actually protect these folks? And in these cases, these minors. But we have a lot of hatred towards these folks and these minors. Is it that you're looking to protect folks or is it that you're looking to score some kind of a political point off of saying they want to come after your children? That's the way we uh, operate in this country these days. Yeah. Just the word honest. You said an honest discussion, and that's <laughs> just, you know. No, it's What's not. That? They're not doing honest. <laughs> not going to do that. Nope.